already in turmoil. The shocking events of the next five months will nearly tear it apart. Against this backdrop of war and domestic unrest, Republican Richard Nixon wins the presidency on the promise of restoring order at home and achieving peace abroad. The greatest honor history can bestow is the title of peacemaker. This honor now beckons America. The chance but as Nixon takes the oath of office, there are 537,000 American troops in Vietnam. 300 are being killed or wounded weekly. And despite the replacement of General William Westmoreland with General Creighton Abrams as the overall commander six months earlier, the military situation remains virtually the same. A tedious rhythm of search and destroy in which American ground forces spend weeks at a time hunting down an elusive enemy in an unforgiving terrain and then tallying the bodies of the dead. For U.S. soldiers arriving in 1969, Vietnam is the same body count based war that it was four years earlier. Yeah. 